Welcome to a nostalgic journey back to the golden age of television with The Danny Thomas Show. Have you ever wondered when you first stumbled upon this timeless series? Or perhaps among the diverse characters portrayed, which one left an indelible mark on your memory? Before we delve into your personal connection, let's set the stage with some intriguing tidbits about the show. Originally premiering in the early 1950s, this sitcom, known for its humor and heartwarming moments, quickly became a household favorite. The series follows the life of entertainer Danny Williams as he navigates the challenges of family, career, and friendships. Now, back to you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience associated with this classic TV gem? Whether it's a moment that tugged at your heartstrings or a scene that left you in stitches, we'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, when was the first time you tuned in to witness the charm of The Danny Thomas Show, and which character resonated with you the most? Share your thoughts, and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of this iconic series together. Your stories await. The Danny Thomas Show, a TV series from the 50s, was more than just a sitcom. Based on 14 years of Danny Thomas' real-life experiences, the show depicted the comedian as an entertainer struggling to balance work and family. Thomas and Marjorie Lord played their characters, Danny and Kathy Williams, in Make Room for Danny on the Lucy Dacey Comedy Hour, joined by Rusty Hamer and Angela Cartwright as Rusty and Linda Williams. In one notable episode, Danny Thomas' character travels through the town of Mayberry, introducing Andy Griffith as Sheriff Andy Taylor. This episode, titled Danny Meets Andy Griffith, served as a spin-off, paving the way for The Andy Griffith Show. The show's essence lies in portraying the challenges of a comedian striving to spend quality time with his family. With memorable crossovers and spin-offs, The Danny Thomas Show left a lasting mark on television history, showcasing the intersection of comedy and family dynamics. Premiering on Tuesday, September 29, 1953, The Danny Thomas Show became an instant hit on Abe Sadie's and PM EST 7 as and PM PST time slot. Lasting for three seasons, it later shifted to a different time on Monday, October 1, 1956, before facing its initial cancellation. However, the show made a triumphant return on Monday, October 7, 1957, finding a new home on CBS at 9000 p.m. EST, 8000 p.m. PST. The show maintained this schedule for its entire run, notably preceding the spin-off series, The Andy Griffith Show. Notably, the American Tobacco Company, featuring cigarette brands like Lucky Strike, Paul Mall, and Territon, sponsored the show from the beginning. The financial backing from this prominent company contributed to the show's success. One interesting behind-the-scenes aspect involves Danny Thomas' initial clash with his television wife, Jean Hagen. Unhappy with her attitude and appearance, Thomas reportedly exclaimed during a rehearsal, For God's sake, Jean, put on a little lipstick. Hagen departed after the third season, and to ensure her non-return, Thomas scripted her character's demise at the beginning of the fourth season. These insights into the show's scheduling, sponsorship, and cast dynamics offer a glimpse into the multifaceted world of The Danny Thomas Show, a series that left an enduring mark on television history, paving the way for future classics. Ranked 5 in TV Guide's 50 Greatest TV Dads of All Time, Danny Williams from the 1953 TV series holds a notable position in television history. His character, portrayed by Danny Thomas, resonated with audiences, earning him recognition as one of the top TV dads. This acknowledgement speaks to the impact and enduring appeal of The Danny Thomas Show. The show not only entertained, but also laid the foundation for spin-offs, including episodes reminiscent of The Andy Griffith Show. A particular episode, akin to The Andy Griffith Show, Dinner at Eight showcases the influence and connection between the two series. Interestingly, it swaps lasagna for spaghetti, highlighting the similarities and perhaps serving as inspiration for future episodes. Adding to the show's dynamic, Veronica Cartwright, sister to series regular Angela Cartwright, made appearances in two episodes. This familial connection adds a layer of intrigue to the cast dynamics, contributing to the show's overall appeal. In essence, The Danny Thomas Show, with its ranking in TV Guide and connections to iconic episodes, stands as a pivotal piece in the television landscape. The character of Danny Williams and the series as a whole left an indelible mark, setting the stage for future classics. When Danny Thomas envisioned a television series, the journey from concept to pilot was no swift task. His collaboration with producer Sheldon Leonard faced delays, courtesy of Thomas' demanding schedule. 
This meticulous development process, however, set the stage for the birth of a groundbreaking show. As the series unfolded, the character dynamics underwent intriguing shifts. Notably, Terry Williams, portrayed by Sherry Jackson and later by Penny Parker, vanished from the narrative after 1960, leaving an unspoken absence for the final four years of the show. The silence surrounding Terry's character adds a mysterious layer to the evolving storyline. In the realm of television influence, one episode stands out paralleling and perhaps inspiring a beloved installment of the show's spin-off, The Andy Griffith Show. The episode in question, akin to The Andy Griffith Show, Mr. McBeavy offers a fascinating exploration of cross-series connections. This interplay between episodes not only entertains, but also underscores the enduring impact of the Danny Thomas show on the television landscape. Navigating through the intricacies of production challenges, character disappearances, and cross-series inspirations, the Danny Thomas show solidified its place in television history. Its influence, evident in subsequent series, speaks volumes about its enduring appeal. Danny Thomas' enduring presence in The Danny Thomas Show was a testament to his commitment, appearing in nearly every episode except 11. His unwavering dedication to the series played a pivotal role in shaping its narrative and contributing to its lasting impact. As the show evolved, so did its title. The first three seasons bore the name Make Room for Daddy, later transitioning to The Danny Thomas Show. Interestingly, after the series concluded and entered syndication, it reverted to its original title, reflecting the dynamic nature of the show's identity. Beyond the confines of the series, Thomas and Marjorie Lord reprised their roles as Danny and Kathy Williams in another television venture, The Joey Bishop Show, This Is Your Life. This crossover not only showcased the enduring popularity of the characters, but also highlighted the interconnectedness of the television landscape during that era. Danny Thomas' consistent presence in all but 11 episodes, coupled with the evolution of the show's title and notable crossovers, solidified the series as a cornerstone of television history. Its impact resonated far beyond the confines of the screen, leaving an indelible mark on the medium. As we bid adieu to this captivating journey through the golden age of television, I invite you to take a moment and reflect on the timeless charm of the vintage gem that has graced our screens. The Danny Thomas Show, a classic narrative woven with threads of laughter, warmth, and genuine human connection, has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of our memories. As you traverse the corridors of nostalgia, let your mind meander through the heartwarming tales of the Anderson family. Perhaps you found solace in the camaraderie of characters or chuckled at the whimsical predicaments they faced. Whatever the avenue, each viewer holds a unique key to unlock a trove of personal recollections. This isn't just a show. It's a reservoir of shared experiences. So I implore you to share your cherished moments, the scenes that etched a smile on your face or the lines that resonated with your soul. Let the echo of your thoughts ripple through the vast expanse of collective nostalgia, binding us in a shared appreciation for the artistry and storytelling that transcends time. In the spirit of connection, let the comments below become a canvas where your reflections paint a vivid portrait of your connection with this timeless series. Your voice is the brushstroke that completes this masterpiece of shared sentiment. From the laughter that echoed in your living room to the silent tears shed during poignant moments, every memory is a testament to the enduring magic of storytelling. Thank you, dear reader, for embarking on this expedition into the realms of vintage television with us. Your time and interest have added a layer of depth to our collective understanding of The Danny Thomas Show, and for that, we are truly grateful. Until we meet again in the corridors of reminiscence, let the echoes of classic tales linger in your thoughts. After all, it's not just a show. It's a part of our shared narrative, 